It's actually my top month on YouTube I've ever had. He's like, I think I drank too much. Please, please, please God wash your produce. Look how dirty this is. Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekend prep video. It is very cold here in Iowa. It's one degree <laughs> right now. Uh, today is actually Sunday morning and so this is going to be uh, a one day weekend prep video. I had all uh, good intentions of filming yesterday on Saturday, but I actually got up and made breakfast. I made some bacon and eggs and hash browns and it was delicious and then I had some plans to be productive and it just didn't turn out that way so uh, in the morning I finished filming a video for you guys which you have already seen already which is my pantry or I'm sorry not my pantry my mudroom reorganization so I finished that and then Adam's like well I need to go to Menards and get some stuff for the basement and so we went out for lunch we went out and had Asian food um, took the kids and then went to Menards and got some things there and then we got home and I was so tired. This new medicine I'm on is making me tired and it's probably going to take a little bit for me to get used to it. So anyway, I fell asleep on the couch when we got home from Menards and I slept until like 4.30 in the afternoon. Uh, and then Adam and I went to a movie last night. We went to see Bad Boys for Life, which was funny. And then Adam, or I'm sorry, Connor went to kids night out which is a local thing that our YMCA does where it's kind of like a lock-in but it's not all night so he got to swim and play dodgeball and eat pizza and um, watch a movie and now it is Sunday morning it is about 8 15 so this morning we woke up and one of our smoke detectors in the basement is chirping and it needs a nine volt battery and we don't have any nine volt batteries and so I told Adam I'm like well I'll just run to hy this morning quick even though it's cold as heck and get some batteries and um, while I'm there I'll get some donuts for breakfast because I don't want to cook breakfast <laughs> anyway this morning I'm just not feeling it so anyway I have a lot of things I need to get done today hopefully I can uh, keep my energy high and get those things done I have some food prep and meal prep I want to do um, of course laundry and yeah so come along with me today and we'll see what we can get done I'm back from the store and I forgot to mention that yesterday, while Adam and I were out, we went and got groceries, just a couple of groceries at Fairway, and that not that what everyone does when they have babysitting, is go to the grocery store? Uh, so I thought I would just show you this quick grocery haul first before I get into the rest of the chores that I need to do today. So uh, this isn't actually from Fairway, this is from Hy-Vee. I found it there this morning when I went to get batteries. It is Jelly Belly Sparkling Water. And they had about six different flavors. I got the pina colada. I also um, wanted to try the cherry, but this was $5.99 for an eight pack of cans, which is ridiculously expensive. But if you've, yeah, if you've tried this or have seen it in the store, let me know. Um, I'll have to taste it today and let you know what I think. Um, I also got some diet orange soda. This is caffeine free, so we'll just keep that in uh, the fridge in here. I got some grapes for the kids to have this week or Adam and I, whoever wants them. Um, I got some oranges because they were on sale and they looked really good. They were 77 cents a pound. So I just got a big, yeah, so I just got a big bag of those. I grabbed some blueberries. These were also on sale, I think for $1.77 a pint, which is pretty good, especially for winter time. Uh, I got some garlic. One thing I would maybe like to do today is to make some more uh, homemade marinara sauce because I'm out of it in the freezer and I needed garlic for that. I got some baby carrots, some basil for the marinara, some uh, whole wheat bread. This is what we've been getting for sandwiches and toast. I got some little smokies today for uh, football. I like to put these in the crock pot with barbecue sauce and grape jelly. I got some ham. This is for either breakfast sandwiches or regular sandwiches this week. Uh, and then for snacks for the kids to take to school, I got them some yogurt raisins and some peanut butter crackers. These were on sale at Fairway for like $2 a box. I also grabbed some butter from Hy-Vee because I'm thinking about making some uh, oatmeal cookies today and I wasn't sure how much butter I had. Um, Adam grabbed a ton of different energy drinks. Uh, these are all sugar free. At Fairway last night, so I'm not sure. I don't know if I've ever seen this brand before. It's called Adrenaline Shock. Um, so he got some of those and then some of the Bang energy drinks. This is a, 
I don't know if we've seen this flavor before. Miami Cola and then Birthday Cake Bash. Um, so he got those. And then they also had the sparkling ice drinks on sale. So we just got 12 of these in the cherry limeade flavor. Those are really good. I drank one. Yeah, cured. The one's missing. She drank one last night. Um, we got some microwave popcorn because we were out of that. I usually get the larger packages or the boxes of kosher salt, but they didn't have it. And so we just got this small... Um, what would you call this? A bottle, I guess, which is weird. I've never seen it like this before. Um, sometimes people ask me why I use that kind of salt instead of like sprinkling salt on stuff. And this is just how I've always cooked with coarse, with coarse kosher salt. No, that's rude. <laughs> it's easier for me to feel in my hand how much salt I'm picking up, if that makes sense. So that's just what I've always used and that's what works for me. Um, I got some refried beans just because we used a can the other night and I always like to keep one in the pantry just for a side for taco night. Uh, Adam got some Mio Energy to take to work. This is the black cherry flavor. I also got some of this Better Than Bouillon. Some of you guys have recommended this and this is the uh, veggie flavor stock base and I have a recipe that calls for this and I might make it this week so I wanted to have this on hand. They had SpaghettiOs on sale so I just got two cans for the kids. We were also all out of relish so I got one jar of sweet relish and one jar of dill relish. I like to have dill relish on hot dogs and then I use these for different like I don't know egg salad tuna salad stuff like that. They had Progresso soup on sale too and Adam will take this to work uh, every once in a while. So I got this one for myself. It's the tomato basil. It's really good. And then I got, or Adam got two other cans. This is a chicken pot pie and this is a clam chowder. I also got a package of uh, crunchy taco shells. This and this were actually on sale. They had these in a display and there was a coupon for a dollar off if you bought two. So I think it made these like less than a dollar each. And this is something nice to like keep in the pantry just in case we want to do like a quick taco night. Um, I have a box of, I think it's the Slap Yo Mama uh, brand like jambalaya mix in the pantry that I got quite a while ago when I went to New Orleans for work and I haven't made it yet. So I saw this at Fairway last night and um, I thought I would get this and I have some shrimp in the freezer so I could do like the jambalaya uh, maybe one night this week for dinner. I got some smoked turkey breast for sandwiches. Okay, so this is new too. I've never seen it before. This is my favorite brand of cottage cheese, the AE Dairy, but this is the salt and pepper flavor. So I'm looking forward to trying this. This I've never seen this before, so I'll have to let you know how that is. Uh, I got some half and half for coffee, some buttermilk. I was thinking about making some homemade uh, ranch dressing this week. I also got tartar sauce because we were all out of that. And then someone commented, I like to have Triscuits for a snack with cottage cheese. And someone commented and said that the lower salt Triscuits actually taste better. And so I thought I'd try those. So this is the hint of sea salt Triscuits. So I'll try those this week. I got some milk. We were completely out of that. Um, Adam got two coffee creamers. This is a sugar-free French vanilla. So we'll leave one here and he'll take one to work. And then I got uh, Murphy some pigskin twists. Uh, we, we have been out of these and this is the rawhide free alternative chews. So those are the ones I normally like to get him. And then they had sour cream on sale. These were 77 cents each for the eight ounce package. So we just got two because we were all out of sour cream. Um, grab some toothpaste and then uh, these are alcohol swabs and they're just like the little um, packages of alcohol wipes. So I like to keep these on hand for cleaning off our thermometer when we use it for the kids, um, you know, rather than running it under water and potentially damaging it, it's much easier just to use an alcohol wipe to clean it off. So that is everything that we got from the store last night. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away and I'm also working, planning to work on uh, an organization project today, which I've been sharing on my channel. So I'll link that playlist down below, but this is what I want to work on today. So we kind of have this area here where everything gets dropped like mail and I have like a drawer full of recipes and we have a drawer full of like cords and stuff. So I want to kind of go through this today and organize it better. I ordered this mail organizer on Amazon 
Um, so I'll link that down below. It's actually really cool, I think. So I haven't taken it out of the packaging yet, but that's what it looks like, and I thought it would go well with the decor. I might have to move some stuff around. So I'm planning on working on that later today. Okay, so I got my dirty dishes in the dishwasher. I had a few dishes to hand wash right here. Right now I am washing uh, a bag of apples that I got earlier in the week. So many of you who have watched my channel for a long time know that I wash all of my produce in my OXO salad spinner. Um, if you don't have one, you definitely need one if you like cooking and washing your produce like I do. So I just have this soaking in here in really cold water and I put like a generous splash of white vinegar in there. This helps clean the apples and also there tends to be sometimes like a waxy substance on the outside of the apple and that will help to remove that. So I'm just soaking these and then I'll rinse them off and I'm also giving my fruit bowl um, a good wash that needed to be uh, washed out and then I'm probably going to take a little bit of time to wash my grapes also. All right, so I got my, excuse me, fruit bowl put back together. There's pears in here too, apples, a couple tomatoes, and some avocados, so I'm gonna scoot that back over here. I wanted to mention too, sometimes I get questions on my bread box and where I got that at. I just ordered it on Amazon, so I can link it down below if you guys are interested. And then I've been keeping this electric kettle out because Kira's been using that for oatmeal and tea that she can make herself. So I went ahead and washed my grapes up too. I'm putting some in this Rubbermaid produce saver. I really like these. I have all different sizes. Um, you can get them on Amazon. I'll link it down below. They're really great for storing any kind of produce, really. Lettuce, tomatoes, berries, greens. And then I had some extra grapes that wouldn't fit. So I'm just going to set these out on the counter. That way if one of the kids comes up and says, hey, I'm hungry, then I say, have some grapes. So... It's about quarter to 11. I think what I'm going to do now is um, take a shower because clearly I clearly I need one. <laughs> and uh, I want to make a list of everything I need to get done today. I think definitely the first thing that I'm going to do before I start on my housework and things is to get a video up because I haven't posted one for a couple days. So I think I'm going to go take a shower and then throw some laundry in the washer and then um, try and get that video edited quick. <music> Okay, so it's about quarter afternoon and I made some lunch for the kids. I just heated up some chicken nuggets in the oven and a cheese pizza. I'm sure Adam will eat some of this too. And I cut up some oranges and some grapes. And then I'm going to try this uh, new Jelly Belly stuff. I'll let you know what I think. All right, here we go. Adam's working in the basement. That's pretty good. It, uh, it legit tastes like a pina colada. Um... I mean, as much as, as much like a pina colada that sparkling water can taste. Mm. I would recommend it. It's good. I need to finish up um, editing this video. I want to do that before I do anything else, but I made myself a salad for lunch. I just have a spring mix in there, some baby kale, some uh, chickpeas, shallots, cucumber, tomato, feta, and some balsamic vinaigrette. Oh, and some olives too. Yum, yum. Okay, so my video is uploading. It should be uploaded in about 10 minutes. I am going to clean out my garbage disposal. I like to use this from Lemmy Shine. There's a couple different brands you can get at Walmart, um, but basically it's just like a little packet that you run hot water and it cleans out your, your disposal. And I know you can use lemon rinds and essential oils and stuff like that, but I also like this. So you just turn the hot water on and then I'll Stick it down there and then turn the disposal on. I don't know if this one foams up or not, but some of them foam up a little bit. Yeah, this one, well, maybe a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna let that run until it's finished. So I think what I'm gonna do now, since I want to um, start filming 
another meal prep video later this afternoon is to wash up some of my produce. So I, okay, if you guys don't wash your produce, please, please, please God wash your produce. Look how dirty this is. I was actually watching a video on YouTube last week. Um, another YouTuber who shall remain unnamed. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but she like took cilantro. It was either cilantro or parsley like straight out of the package and put it into her dish. And I was like, no, 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 please don't do that because cilantro is so dirty. I mean, so is parsley. So is really any produce. And if you're ever like going down the side, not going down the side, but if you're ever going down the interstate and you see like a truck carrying produce and it's like open to the air, yeah, that's, that's what your produce goes through <laughs> to get to you. So please get yourself an OXO salad spinner and wash your produce. That is my PSA for today. Anyway, so I'm gonna get this stuff washed up and uh, we're gonna make some oatmeal cookies too. I don't know if you can see how dirty that water is maybe you can that was from the celery this was a really dirty bunch of celery it's not always that dirty but yeah i think you could probably see the dirt settling at the bottom of the bowl there so yes wash 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 your produce okay so i'm gonna finish rinsing this i'm also gonna wash my herbs and my green onions and basically i do it in the same way just soak it in cold water and vinegar and rinse it off Okay, so while my produce is soaking, I'm going to make some oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. I haven't made uh, these in a long time, so I'll link this recipe down below. It's from liveforcake.com. And in my KitchenAid mixer, I just have uh, one cup of butter that has been softened. And then I also added some brown swerve and some granular swerve. The recipe calls for regular brown sugar and regular sugar, but I'm going to try and reduce the sugar content a little bit. So I'm using that instead. So I'm just going to cream this for about three minutes. So I added two eggs, some vanilla, and some, and I mix that up, and then I added flour, baking soda, cinnamon, and salt. I'm going to mix that up, and then lastly, I will add the oats and the chocolate chips. The recipe calls for semi-sweet chocolate chips, but I have a little bit of peanut butter chips and a little bit of semi-sweet, so I'm gonna use a mixture of both. Okay, so I got my cilantro all washed up. How I like to store this is once I spin it dry, I put it out on a, um, a paper towel like this, and then I roll it up and put it in a Ziploc bag and it will stay fresh almost up to two weeks sometimes. So if you're looking for a way to keep cilantro fresher longer, and I do parsley the same way. And then I just wanted to show you with the celery. So I took the stalks and put it in a jar, in a mason jar with cold water. And this will stay good in my refrigerator for a couple of weeks also. And then kind of the rest of the scrap pieces I just put in a Ziploc bag and I will freeze these. And then when I go to make um, chicken stock or beef stock or vegetable stock later, I'll have those for my stock. So I'm not sure what to think about these oatmeal cookies. Um, they didn't really turn out like I thought they would or like any other oatmeal cookies that I've made. And I don't know if that is because of the sugar substitute that I used or what. Um, it seems like the second batch turned out better after I didn't chill the dough, even though the recipe said to chill the dough. So I don't know. I really can't recommend this recipe. They don't, I mean, they're not bad. They just don't, they don't really taste like oatmeal cookies that I'm used to. Um, I think maybe too, like there's a little bit too much oatmeal to cookie ratio, but I don't know. Anyway, at least I made some cookies without oatmeal. I'm trying to think of where I left you earlier this afternoon. I, w I believe it was when I was talking about the oatmeal cookies, <laughs> but it is now uh, 6.45 and a lot has transpired. My feet are very sore because I've been cooking in the kitchen basically all day. Uh, I'm trying to like film three different videos today and I'm starting to get confused. Like I'm filming this video and I'm filming a Super Bowl um, 
meal video and then I'm filming a different cooking video and so I think I've got it all straight but in the meantime also uh, the Chiefs won their game today which means that they're going to the Super Bowl so as you uh, can probably guess we are very excited about that Adam was very excited <laughs> he's uh, he's been a Chiefs fan since he was uh, pretty much born so uh, for them to make it to the Super Bowl is like a dream come true for him basically so while he was watching the game he was drinking like hop slam I don't know if you know what hop slam is from Bell's Brewery I think it's like 10% alcohol so he drank like two Boulevard beers and then I think he drank the whole six pack of hop slam <laughs> and he's like a big dude so he can he can drink a lot and like all of a sudden I couldn't find him this was after the game and I asked him if he wanted dinner because I made chili for dinner which I'll show you in a minute. And I couldn't find him. And I'm like, where is he at? So I went upstairs and he's like getting into bed. And I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I gotta lay down. I'm like, why? He's like, I think I drank too much. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, I guess he's going to bed at 6.30 tonight. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> lesson learned. Don't drink a six pack of Hop Slam. Uh, so yeah, I guess he's gonna go to bed. I, while I was up there, I threw in another load of laundry. Connor's upstairs watching TV or watching YouTube on TV. Kira's doing I don't know what in her room. Connor said he wasn't hungry either, but they've been kind of snacking all day on like fruit and veggies and like those cookies I've had out on the counter and stuff. So I don't know, but my feet are very sore. And I definitely wanted to get that other organization project done tonight. I think I'm gonna push myself and do it. Maybe I'll put on my sandals. I think it's because I was just in my socks, you know, walking around on the hardwood floor and that, I don't know, it's not good, not good for my feet. Um, but yeah, let, let me show you the disaster that is my kitchen after like, what, six hours, seven hours of cooking. <laughs> so I was going to show you guys something. So every January, YouTube pushes out like a bunch of keto content. And there are some keto meal prep videos on my YouTube channel. This is the one that they keep pushing out. And actually, I just passed a, a million views on this video <laughs> today that I published June 25th, 2018. Uh, if you want to watch the video, I'll link it down below. To me, it's like very mediocre. It was one of the very kind of like first meal prep videos I ever put out there. So why YouTube keep keeps pushing it out I don't know but like for the last 28 days it's been the one that I, blah, blah, I can't talk it's been the very top video on my channel it's gotten 119,000 views followed by this meal prep video that I published in July of 2018 so I'm kind of just like going back and making sure I have all of the right like keywords and everything on there here's another one this family friendly meal prep I don't know I don't know why they push out this old content um it must be because it gets views i don't know i don't know that's interesting but i was also going to show you guys since i did show you on about vlogmas and stuff how much i made during the month of vlogmas so it was actually my top month on youtube i've ever had so uh publishing a video every single day in december and actually some days i published two videos uh, i made five thousand eight hundred forty three dollars and two cents in YouTube revenue so that's pretty that's pretty awesome I've never made that much in one month before um, but anyway I was just kind of checking this because it'll show me like the video I posted today this mudroom organization video it'll show me like how it ranks out of the last 10 videos I've posted um, how many views it's gotten what the average view duration is etc etc so anyway it's kind of interesting and then I also have, I also pay for vidIQ. So this is also really interesting. So I can compare different channels to my channel and see like how my views compare to theirs. So like you can see I'm in the blue right here. So this is for the last 60 days, how many views I've gotten on my channel. And the interesting thing is that there are channels that have way more subscribers than I do. For example, this, um, Kim from free to frugal she's right here so even though she has I think she has over a hundred thousand subscribers now oh, actually we can look um, oh no she has 90,000 subscribers so I guess she has about 5,000 more than me but her views are are lower 
um, Vanessa from Lemonade Mom. Um, she has about the same number of subscribers that I do, and her views are a little bit less than mine, but um, pretty much comparable. And then Kristen Stepp, which if you don't know her, you should check out her What's For Dinner videos. She uh, has about 10,000 less subscribers than I do, but she surpassed me in views, which is super interesting. So I don't know. I just, I think this stuff like this is super interesting because a lot of people get obsessed with like the number of subscribers they have, which is kind of a cool number I mean it's a vanity number you know really what matters is are people watching your videos like if you have a lot of subscribers and no one watches your videos then it's not <laughs> it doesn't really mean anything I mean unless you're just looking at that number and you don't care about views or income or anything but like there are channels smaller than mine um, that get way more views than I do so I don't know I just think it's interesting um, Oh yeah, see Nicole Burgess, she has she has more subscribers. So does Gia. Um, and I wonder too if they, well I know Nicole publishes videos semi-frequently. I think it has a lot to do too with how much content you put out. Like if you only put out a couple videos a week. Like did I have, oh see, I had Ashley from Till Vacuum Do Us Part on here. But I think she went back and deleted a lot of her videos um, cause they had her daughter in it, or at least that's what she said in one of her videos. So, yeah, so for the last 30 days she has, she has views, like 2,000 less views than I do. Um, anyway. So yeah, that's super interesting, right? I don't know, maybe you don't care. The other thing I was gonna say about vidIQ is if you are a YouTuber and you do make YouTube videos, I would totally recommend getting it and I pay for it it's $50 a month and it helps you figure out what the best time is to post your videos it helps with your analytics and it helps you um, tag your videos so it helps you figure out which keywords are best to tag your videos and as soon as I started using it I noticed like a big jump in my views so I've been using it ever since obviously it's a business expense um, since it's directly related to YouTube so it's something that you can write off you know if you do um, monetize your channel. Anyway, that's all. I'll leave a link to vidIQ down below if you are a YouTuber and you want to check it out. I would highly recommend it. So my kitchen is a mess. Um, I have a bunch of cookbooks and recipes out over here that I was using. And then this is what I made for dinner, which I was really the only one that ate since it was spicy and the kids didn't want it and Adam went to bed early. This is buffalo chicken chili and uh, believe it or not, it is Rachel Ray's top downloaded recipe from her site so this is going to be in a super bowl super bowl super bowl video that i'm going to be having it's a collaboration and it will be released on the 21st it did turn out really good you'll hear more about it then uh and then i made some mac and cheese with hot dogs for kira like i said connor didn't want to eat he might want to eat later uh, for this other cooking video I'm working on, I also did make some quinoa, so I just went ahead and prepped that ahead. I need to put it in a container and get it into the refrigerator. And then I have a bunch of dishes that I need to do from cooking and get my counter cleaned up, so that's what I'm going to work on now. You guys like my uh, socks and sandals? I'm living my best dad life over here. I don't know where Connor went, but he came downstairs and asked for uh, something to eat. So I made him a peanut butter and jelly and an apple and a pear, and now he's gone. So, figures. So, cleaning up the kitchen, uh, I went ahead and loaded the dishwasher. Hand washed most of the dishes. I have my instant pot insert soaking. I gave Connor a bath. He's watching a movie. And I bagged up some of this chili to freeze, and then I jarred up some of this. I might see if my stepdad wants this. He really likes... Um, spicy food and this is kind of spicy so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this out in the refrigerator in the freezer in the garage so I'm gonna sit here and work on my meal plan for the week because I want to do something sitting down because my feet still hurt so I just made myself some coffee I'm gonna have some coffee with a little um, chocolate almond biscotti these are so good I got a box of six of them at Trader Joe's and I love biscotti it's so good dip it in the hot coffee yum so I'm gonna work on my meal plan this week I'll let you know the recipes that I choose 
So I think I got my meal plan done for the week. Um, today we had the buffalo chicken chili. Obviously the kids aren't going to eat that because it's too spicy. So um, Kira had mac and cheese, Connor had PB&J. Uh, tomorrow is actually a holiday. It's uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and so I don't have work and the kids don't have school. They do have swim, though, so I figured I could um, cook, you know, cook, prep and cook a dinner tomorrow. And so I'm going to try this recipe from Home Chef. I actually went on their website and printed it off. I'll link it down below. But I have some mahi mahi in the freezer, and so I thought this would be good to make with that. It's mahi mahi and green peppercorn sauce with mashed potatoes and carrots. So that's something that sounds good. And both the kids like fish, and so I'm hoping that they will like it. Uh, on Tuesday, it's actually parent practice, which means I get to swim with the kids at their swim practice. And so I'll have to do a crock pot meal. I'm planning on doing Park City stew, which is a beef stew in the crock pot. I have all the ingredients for it. I'll link that recipe down below. And then I also want to try some homemade bread, which I'll have to make tomorrow. Um, this is the bread that Christine from Frugal Fit Mom makes. It's like a Dutch oven, no need bread. So I'll type the recipe out down below, but that should be good along with the beef stew. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday I won't be here in the evening so Adam will have to take care of dinners and so I just have down leftovers on this day soup and sandwich on this day and then Friday I think we'll do tacos and refried beans Kira wants me to get some of the Dorito flavored um, hard shells so I'll probably do that we did actually had tacos this past Friday and it worked out really well so I'm glad to have this done for the week it was actually really helpful I did a pantry inventory video um, a couple days ago I'll link that down below and so I have sort of all of these you know me not menus meals to choose from so it's been really helpful to kind of flip back and pick what I want off of there and that way I'm using up what I have in my pantry and freezer so uh, I'm working on organizing this can you tell because I'm sitting over here at the island because <laughs> I want to sit down but I had this whole pile of receipts in this bucket. So in this Grove bucket, there was all these receipts, which, you know, some of this, I'm probably gonna miss tax deductions because I'm terrible at keeping track of paper receipts. Like, well, let me rephrase that. I'm not terrible at keeping track of paper receipts like when I order stuff online, um, like related to my YouTube business or whatever. Because then all I do is I print a receipt from my email and then I have a folder upstairs that I file it in. But like receipts like this, I'm terrible about keeping track of them. So what I need to do starting this year since it's January and I can start fresh is really like label the tops of my receipts with the total and what video it was for. Uh, or if it was like equipment or office supplies and stuff like that. I mean, all that is stuff you can deduct if you are using it for your business, which I feel even funny saying that, but technically this is a business because I have not told, I have not told it all up yet, but I'm pretty sure last year I'm going to make almost $50,000. Uh, it's definitely uh, a blessing and it's definitely different when it comes to tax time. <laughs> uh, Cause it's sort of like a self-employment thing that you have to you know file all that different stuff so anyway I need to keep track of that better going forward this year uh, so any tips would be greatly appreciated <laughs> um, anyway so uh, I'm gonna sort out these pencils and pens that were in this bucket because there were a lot of those there were a lot of receipts some of which I found and I'll put upstairs with my stuff um, but then some of these like yeah. So like this is a receipt for Legos and a tampon. Like why would I put that in there? That's most of these were just like grocery like receipts from the grocery store. Like why would I save those? I don't know. I just put them in a bucket so I can throw them away later, I guess. I don't know.
so you know what this is not perfect and I'm sure I'm gonna have to maybe rearrange this because this picture that I have come in stripped on my backsplash here is probably gonna interfere with this if I put like papers in there and stuff I don't know but this is good for now so if I didn't mention in the beginning of the video I did get this mail holder on Amazon and it was kind of pretty expensive so I'll link it down below if you're interested but what I ended up putting in here is just some sticky notes I put some pens pencils highlighters sharpie I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my receipts in here only when they are labeled and highlighted um, I've got some stamps in here which actually I don't know if I want to use these I kind of want to save them because I love Sesame Street and they're very sentimental to me. Don't ask me why I'm weird. Uh, I have something in here that needs to be mailed. It's a rebate, some notepads, and then an envelope back here. So that's that's fine right now. It looks a lot better now, I have to say. I did not do anything with these drawers because you know what? I just don't have it in me tonight, but I do plan on doing it tomorrow. So um, I think tomorrow I'm going to try to do these drawers, which the, this mess of cords just like... I can't, I don't even, I can't even, I don't even want to look at it. Um, and then this is where we keep Murphy's treats. And then I did find an extra jar in the pantry to put his uh, chews in. So that's good. So actually I'm happy with this for tonight. It's better than nothing, right? All right, so thank you so much for watching this weekend's weekend prep video, even if it was only one day, but the Chiefs won, go Chiefs. We're going to the Super Bowl. Uh, I did not get everything done that I wanted to get done today, but you know what? I did get a lot of stuff done, and that's what counts. I still have a boatload of laundry to fold tomorrow. But the good thing is, is that it's a holiday, and so I'll have time to do that, right? <laughs> All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Every time I start talking, the dishwasher drains, and it's like...